of vitamin D deficiency or rickets, just a few points that you have to know to rule out or to establish a diagnosis. So let's start it. Rickets is called in children and osteomalacia in adults. What are risk factors uh, for rickets? Increases skin pigmentation, especially in black people. As we know, one of the form that is synthesized of uh, uh, vitamin D is under the skin from cholesterol to cholecalciferol. Uh, another form is um, is deposited in um, in in the liver as 25 hydroxy vitamin D, and a third one is active, uh, call it 1.25 hydroxy vitamin D activated in kidney. So uh, this hyperpigmentation with uh, uh, increased number of melanocytes cover the, the entry of UV lights. Another one is exclusive breastfeeding, as uh, uh, feeding uh, from the breast is not enough with vitamin D to provide increased uh, necessity of the child of, uh, of vitamin D. And maternal vitamin D deficiency throughout the pregnancy, as through the placenta are going uh, minerals, uh, vitamins and other nutrition and oxygen, of course. But if mother is uh, deficient in vitamin D, a low uh, dose of vitamin D will go to the fetus. So, what are clinical features? Craniotabis, uh, delayed fontanel closure, enlarged skull, costochondral joints, enlarged long bone joints, and genovars deformity. We're gonna see all these pictures of the disease in the next slides after this classification. Uh, it is a known classification of rickets as uh, related to vitamin D uh, issue or calcium or phosphorus. So vitamin D are two forms, two types of vitamin D deficiency. Also there are calcium deficiency as uh, renal osteomalacia, what it does mean as uh, kidneys do not reabsorb calcium and it's a big problem as parathyroid hormone is increased but do not compensate um, do not have uh, from which side to compensate as uh, calcium is loosed permanently and even uh, reserve from bone do not help in into this disease and hypocalcemic rickets uh, phosphorus deficiency Everything that is involved in one metabolism, like uh, parathyroid hormone, like uh, calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium, can pro, uh, can contribute to the disease aggravation. What is the etiology? It's a calcium deficiency. It's a vitamin deficiency or vitamin D receptor mutation. And uh, such type of disease, you can keep vitamin D. Uh, with calcium, but uh, assimilation by the organism is not done just because of receptor do not aren't or are absent at all, and uh, nobody rec recognizes calcium for and vitamin D for assimilation, and also phosphate deficiency or a receptor for phosphate, as uh, calcium and phosphate are uh, are uh, going together for metabolism. So mechanism is impairment of bone mineralization as a result uh, prior to epiphyseal closure. Okay, let let look at, at many pictures uh, as we can uh, talk uh, in a row ten minutes or more. But if you don't see pictures, you cannot Im imagine well the disease. So craniotabis is a deformity of the skull as um, normally uh, skull is a very uh, hard structure but here you see uh, uh, a smooth prolongated and soft tissue as you see a uh, digital mark can remain after the pressure uh, delayed fontanel closure normally fontanels uh, close uh, in uh, eight months or uh, or earlier but you see here a depression that is uh, clear that uh, fontanel are still open and soft. Unless it's 
skull like frontal bossing. I, I draw these lines to show you as a uh, back part of the skull is normal, like parietal, uh, occipital uh, bones are of normal shape. But um, but the frontal uh, frontal bones are prominent and even soft as they are remodeling permanently. Costochondral joint hypertrophy or also called the uh, rachitic rosari. You see this hyper uh, hypertrophy of the joints and it is classic, it is bilateral for sure. Enlarged bone joints or wrist widening. Look at this distance uh, and you can see even clinically this uh, uh, bones are enlarged in the epiphysis and even this distance is uh, is enlarged or oh, general virus or uh, femoral and tibial bowing or deformity clinically is it is easily distinguished and even on a chest on a on a lower limbs uh, x-ray what you can see on x-ray osteopenia metaphysial cupping and fraying look at this picture uh, you see a cupping with fragile spure like uh, structure that are easily deformed and fractured during any any simple trauma any epiphyseal widening uh, it's a normal structure of the bone and parts of it so epiphysis is dilated you see like everything is coming okay till the uh, metaphysis and here is starting for uh, extreme dilation of the structure and the last uh, slide is with lab results so uh, vitamin D and calcium is decreased and phosphorus also at uh, vitamin D contributes to reabsorption of phosphorus through the intestine uh, only markers who will be increased are parasitic hormone as negative feedback and alkaline phosphatase by action of parasitic hormone treatment is simple vitamin D def deficiency is treated with vitamin D and it is necessary for giving uh, one dose every day for many months to follow uh, for uh, treating and uh, correlates uh, level of uh, vitamin deficiency thank you very much guys for your following have a great day